The most important point is that we don't believe that contaminants are going to get from the landfills at the WCS site into the Dockham aquifers because there's a thick section of Triassic Age clays or claystones that separates the bottom of the landfills from those aquifers. And in fact, that, that section's on the order of about five to 600 feet thick. And that material looks something like this. And these claystones are very impermeable. That means that water doesn't flow uh, very rapidly through them. In fact, they're so, uh, they're two orders of magnitude less permeable than a clay liner for a landfill. So that means that this is much less permeable than the materials that we designed to contain waste in landfills. Now the other important point is, is that we've measured uh, water potentials in these clay stones and the water potential tells us which direction water is going to flow and what we find is that by looking at these in core samples that we've taken over uh, hundreds of feet through the red beds and through these clays that basically there's no way that water can flow from the land surface down to the Dockham aquifers because water's flowing towards uh, other zones in the aquifer and in fact these red beds are unsaturated which means that not all of the pore space in them have water in them so we don't believe that there's going to be any contamination of the Dockham aquifer from the WCS site. 